Hey guys, it's Crafty Lou. Today I wanted to share a project that I did using the Cricut Personal Cutter model CRB001. I used a shadow block that I had previously bought at Michael's. I actually bought a couple. I sanded down the writing that was on there um, to use. This is the back. I also used uh, vinyl. That is a uh, Cricut vinyl. I used the leftover pieces that I had from a project. This is a great way to use it. I could have used a whole sheet, but I did use some pieces that were left over. I also used the cartridge that is the opposite attracts. And on here to do this, you will need to hit the button opposite and then shift lock and then type in what you're writing. And here we are typing in bless. Again, you are going to hit the top button, which says opposite up there. You can see it lit up. And then also at the bottom, you can see where it says shift lock. And then you will type in bless. And I typed in, um, the setting was an inch for the letter. So you want to make sure that your setting for your size letter is on one and then on the pressure you want to make sure that your pressure is on three because this will keep it from going all the way through your vinyl as you can see this is the back of the vinyl and you can see that it did not go all the way through here i continued with bless our mess so you will repeat the same process here for the word our and for mess then I took the block and I painted it white. I sanded it down, distressed it in some areas. I then modge podge it and then I laid the words across it, bless our mess. And then I took another layer and put some modge podge on that. And then I thought I needed something else. So I hit the reset button as you can see in the right hand side there and decided to add something else on there. So I decided to add the bonus feature here, which is where I bubbled it out on your your right side. It's the bonus key and it has some flowers where they're actually called stick pins. So you are going to take and you're going to hit the upright key, which is over there in the left, and then the shift lock and then that will print that out. I also used um, one and a half and a two and a half for that. And then I decided to add a bow also. So I cut a piece of ribbon and just tied it in the middle and then took a hot glue gun and added the bow on there. And I think it turned out awesome. My block was four and a half by four and a half. I will go ahead and get the measurements and the settings um, put down in the bottom of the video so that you will have that also. Thanks guys for watching.